Hi, my name is Eric Hollenbeck. I'm here to introduce you to Blue Ox Millworks, and today we're going to give you a quick overview of some of our capabilities here at the shop. We'll start out by going over to the lathe room. Here we are in the lathe room. These are all sample balusters that we've done in newel posts over the years. In the back there you'll see some columns. And this is our column lathe over here. With this lathe we can turn columns up to 17 feet and 30 inches in diameter. Here's a uh, beautiful finial that we just finished. And we'll see some, some of the uh, finished product from this room in a few minutes. But next we'll go into the fabrication room. So here we are in the fabrication room. These are some of the projects that we're uh, finishing up right now or in process working on. These are fellows. They're the outside of a wagon wheel and we're building two of these to, for a, a cannon for a local uh, VFW club. Their wheel disintegrated and, uh, and they're having us make new ones. This one here is a very, very beautiful newel post, I think. This is going to go uh, at the bottom of a foot of stairs when it's done and it's going to be six-sided. This is our own design, by the way. Here's some post caps for a project that you'll see in a minute. And these right here are, these are going to be corner brackets. And these are going to have <coughs> sunbursts coming out of them. And these will be for a house in Los Gatos, California. So now we'll go see a finished product. So this is the balustrade back here, but first let's stop here and take a look at this. This is a tabletop we're making for a customer in San Francisco. This is four and a half feet wide and 10 feet long and three inches thick out of a solid piece of old growth redwood. That's a beautiful chunk of wood, isn't it? So we're gonna turn the legs for this now and uh, finish off and then the edges will be uh, um, done with a hand plane all the way around to have a nice detail on the edges. This will be a beautiful table when it's finished. So let's head back and see this balustrade now. So this is a completed balustrade assembly here. Um, this is something that we're beginning to do more and more and more of. You see all of the component pieces are pre-assembled for the contractors ready to go into place. Now in this project this right here is the uh, porch deck and these six by six newel posts go down through the deck and they tie into structural members so that when the contractor gets this all he has to do is put the newel posts in, the balustrade assembly sit in, screw on, the caps screw on top or nail down on top and you call in the painters. So in a very short time, this is up and complete. We call this, by the way, this pattern, the fat old man and shapely lady balusters. This is going to San Jose. This is our bandsaw here. This is a 1940, 36 inch moke. Uh, this has a throat capability of 36 inches and a height capability of 16 inches. With this, we can do small uh, fret work like the cutout work here clear up to great big work like the uh, corbel over there for Boston. This is our scroll saw. This is a 36 inch Oliver. This also has a 36 inch throat on it. This is the type of work a scroll saw can do. We're one of the last shops left that have scroll saw capabilities. This is a uh, paper doll baluster assembly that went to a house in Boston. And then this is a spandrel assembly, and this is another feature of what scroll saws can do. So next we'll head up to the plaster room. So we're headed upstairs now, but we're going by the mortise and tenon area. This is our H.B. Uh, Smith tenoner. And then over here is our Yates American mortiser. It's a chisel bit mortiser and they make the uh, mortise and tenon for our doors and windows. Here's a double hung pulley system uh, window 
And that one right there is a Hammond door. So now we'll continue on up to the uh, plaster room. So this is the plaster room coming up here. As we go by, this is a nice example of a uh, gable end treatment we did for a house. This one was in Boston. This uh, broke apart into four different pieces and shipped that way. Here's an overhead view of that uh, balustrade assembly that we were just down looking at. So this is the plaster room here. Here's a uh, decorative piece that uh, we started from scratch and made the original for this. And it was a right and a left hand side. This went on a house in San Francisco on Steiner Street, in fact. Here's a beautiful festoon assembly <clears throat> so that you have the um, you have the corn runs going this way the, and then the festoons dropping down. Makes it look like cake decoration. And this went underneath a window assembly in San Francisco. And then over here we have the uh, finished products of quite a few more pieces. So this is a uh, gable treatment that went on that same Steiner Street house and again this is an original that we did from scratch and then um, behind it there you'll see a whole wall full of originals that we have duplicated over the years. So we can make either the exact same thing that your house had before or we can make from scratch a brand new one. So this is the sawmill building here. This is the start of the operation and this is where we cut the logs up to go into the uh, products that we make. We start out with logs like the uh, one old growth log on the sawmill right now. All of our old growth comes from uh, chunks and pieces left behind by the original loggers a hundred years ago. So these have been laying on the forest floor for 75 to 100 years. We cut them into the dimension, the dimension material that we need to do the jobs with. Then they go from the sawmill here over to the edger saw, that's the one you see now, and then finally on over to the, uh, to the resaw, and that's the resaw over there. So we make all the specific dimension material that we need to do the job just like before. Now we'll head on over to the molder building. So this is the molder building here and these are the all four side molding machines. This is kind of a fun job here. This one we're making uh, 14 inch wide uh, full inch thick flooring. This will be square edge tongue and groove flooring when it's done and, um, and this is coming out of used timber. See you can see the, the uh, nail holes in it here. The customer uh, specified these out of uh, used timbers. I think this is going to be a really beautiful floor when it's finished. Now we'll go see the knives. This is a shot of our Victorian knife collection. This is the largest collection of Victorian knives left in the country and we have uh, 3,000 of them. We also grind our own knives and these knives fit together in these machines behind me. You can see one of the knives here and you put them together on all four sides and make uh, patterns out of them and they fit together in an infinite number of patterns so we can produce any pattern anyone can draw. They fit into these machines. This one is a uh, 16 inch wide Woods. The one next to it here is a 10 inch wide Hermance. And like I said they do all four sides of the board at one time so when we made this finished redwood gutter we handed these machines, set it up all four heads handed it a 4x5 and this finished gutter comes out the other end. So that gives you an overview of what we do here at Blue Ox.